What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the classic log on prompt and the control alt delete function to um, log on to windows but first to enable control alt delete to log on you're going to have to enable the classic login prompt. I'm going to show you how to do that first. You want to go over to start go to control panel should take a while not really but yeah I just booted this thing up I might edit the video a little bit if it's moving a little slow oh there you go you wanna go to where it says user accounts Then we'll go to the user accounts right here under where it says pick a control panel icon. Or if you have the classic setup, you can just click on user accounts from there. Okay, you're going to see where it says change the way users log on or off. You want to uncheck where it says use the welcome screen. You want to apply the options and um, we'll go ahead and close out of that. Now to enable control alt delete you want to go to start we're going to go to run or you can go through the command prompt you want to type this in if you have the command prompt or if you're in run control space user passwords yeah, I'm gonna put, see if y'all can get it, show it to you guys if the camera could focus. But you just type control user passwords to. You just gotta leave a space between control and user passwords to. So we go ahead, click OK, or you can just hit Enter. Now we're in the older style user accounts menu you want to go to over to this advanced tab and right here you want to go to where it says require users to press control alt delete you want to click on apply and we're going to go ahead and log off and see what we get we get the classic log off option. It'll even give you the classic shutdown. So there you go. Let's go ahead and press control delete. Oops, sorry for the camera being out of place. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password and there you go you're in Windows but this even works with Windows Embedded 2009 POS Ready or the standard edition or any edition that's based off Windows XP so I hope this video helped you guys out and thanks for watching